All right, hello everyone. This is a review on the Porter Cable 6 amp angle grinder, 12,000 RPM that I picked up for about $29. And uh, this one here uh, is about seven pounds or so. And I've been using it for about uh, two or three weeks now. But I wanted to show you what you do get when you buy one of these. Now my old one that I show in a video a little bit later did uh, finally break on me and I didn't want to spend $100 on another angle grinder. So I went out and bought this one here and I've had some other Porter cable tools and so far they have been uh, pretty good. You do get a manual with it and they're kind enough to give you a starter disc if you will, a metal cutting wheel and you get a tool to go ahead and take this uh, lock nut on and off, if you will, on the bottom here. And when you put that on there, you can put your uh, wheels on here, like this. And you put that on there like that. And once you get that on there, then all you really have to do is take the uh, tool, which is right there, and just basically tighten this down. And when you tighten this down, you push this little red tab back here on the back. And this will lock this and you can take your tool and go in here like this and kind of just tighten it up like that and you're good to go now of course i've taken my shield off because i've been outside doing some uh, cutting with a metal wheel that i'll show you here in a few minutes and so far it's been pretty good uh, it's not the strongest thing in the world but it will do for light jobs and if you only use these once in a while it's probably the best way to go and this here of course will go behind the wheel and, and you just basically slide it on like this and once you get it on there you kind of lock it down like this once I get it on there kind of like that and then you just kind of push this down like that and it'll lock it on there and then you can put your wheel on but like I said, I have it off because I like to live dangerously, you know. <laughs> and also you get this uh, handle that screws on the side like this. And uh, it feels a little cheap, but if you tighten it up, it does seem to work pretty good. Pretty good grip. And this thing is a lot lighter than my old antique one. Um, the antique one I had weighs about 15 pounds. This one is less than half. So this one here, if you're going to be working for an hour or two, probably will not make your hand very tired. So. Let me show you what I've done so far. Now, as you can see, I've been uh, taking some paint off of a hardwood floor and I've tried a lot of a stripper and it just makes a big mess and you still gotta take a sander and take what's left of the paint off the floor. You can see that paint that is on the floor and it's like an oil base and it's very difficult to get off. So what I've been using is this uh, Germany, uh, something that's been made in Germany, it's a four and a half inch grinder, Met Metabo, I believe it's called. And I'm not sure how old it is, but it finally quit working. It's actually locked up, the uh, motor locked up in it. And I got some pretty good use out of it, so decided to go ahead and uh, purchase a new one. And of course, the one I purchased, of course, is the uh, Porter Cable, and I only paid $29 for it. And it's got a four and a half inch uh, grinding wheel on it. And I'm, using, I'm actually using a metal uh, wheel because the uh, paint ones just completely just clog up with paint trying to take this off the floor. And so far it's been a pretty good uh, grinder. I haven't had any issues with it. You just take your time with it. And it seems like it takes the paint right off the floor. And also on my uh, other vehicles, I had to do some framework. I used those, some cutting wheels and uh, really didn't have any problem with it. So let me set the camera up here and you can watch me take off a little paint real quick on the floor.
So as you can see, it uh, does a pretty good job taking the paint off the floor. And um, so far, it's uh, running pretty good. So for $29, you really can't beat it. And uh, we'll go outside and put a cutting wheel on. We'll cut some metal and show you how that show you how that works. But overall, I uh, did a pretty good job getting this oil-based paint off the floor. And of course, later I'll take an orbital sander and go over this a little bit and smooth it really down. So, uh, so far, uh, the Porter Cable grinder has been pretty good and uh, been pretty happy with it. I didn't want to go out and spend $100 on something, but I figured this would be something for some light jobs. And uh, it really depends on what your budget uh, wants to be. It, anywhere from $30 to uh, $200 I've seen these things go for. So. Uh, so far, not too bad. So you can see here, it has no problem cutting a piece of metal. So uh, pretty happy with it. And like I said earlier, this thing really helped me out on my frame work, especially underneath. I had to do some patching on the frame when I got this, and this thing really uh, made my arm less tired than the heavier one did before it broke. So it really uh, has been a pretty good grinder. Overall, I can't complain. I think the value for $29 is well worth it if you're going to be doing light jobs. And also on my trailer here, my C trailer, I had to actually go in there and cut a few plates where I can hook chains up on the side of the trailer and it had no problem uh, cutting metal like that. And of course every auto mechanic's got to have a decent trailer and this is mine by the way. It will haul up to 12,000 pounds. It is a C trailer that I picked up for $400, put new axles and bearings in it, tires, and it's been a lifesaver. I don't have to call family members anymore and say, can you come with me and help me tow a car home? I can do it all by myself, which is wonderful. And also it does have the dovetail, and all you have to do is slide those ramps out, and it's a nice smooth ride right up on the ramp. Okay, enough about my trailer. And of course you get a nice booklet here written by lots of lawyers, I'm sure, how to work it, and all the uh, tips and cleaning materials that you can use on it to keep it going. And also they give you uh, various wheels that you can actually buy for this. All right, so there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick review on the 6-amp, 12,000 RPM Porter Cable Angle Grinder. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I have lots more reviews coming up later this week on some tools. And until then, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then.